Now it's Sparage taking the shot, scores! What a move! What a goal! How about that? Good his way to the net, scores! Oh my goodness! NOJHL game day back once again. Oh, what's up, everybody? I'm Alex Bashevansky, and welcome back into our league studio. Lots has gone down uh, in a short period of time, and I'm here to tell you all about it before we get to puck drop. So let's go. He leaves it for Henry McClellan, fresh off the bench. McClellan going towards the net. Oh, I score! Henry McClellan with the beauty. Here's. Walker with a beautiful cut to the middle. Another nice move. Walker, he scores! What a way to score your first NLJHL goal! The wait is over. The two top teams in the league, based on winning percentage, face off tonight. Tibbins and Sudbury, The Rock, were NLJHL champions two seasons ago. They've been phenomenal this year. Just two losses in 10 games. Ranked 12th in the CJHL, they are rolling. But head coach Brandon Perry knows his squad will have their hands full with the Cubs. Yeah, it's a really good game. I mean, them being in the West, us being in the East, we haven't ran into them too many times um, over the last three seasons. Um, but obviously a really good program. They're really real run, um, loaded with eight 20-year-olds. Um, they were deep as well last year, and even the year before that, when they were a little younger, you can tell they were going to be good for years to come. And we're looking forward to the challenge. Sudbury, of course, are the defending league champions. They are the hottest team in the NOJHL at the moment. Winners of 10 straight, ranked seventh in the country. Cubs broadcaster Thomas Mercier will be calling the game tonight. He anticipates an epic contest. I think we all know this is going to be an amazing game. It, it's a battle of two Goliaths in the Northern Ontario Junior Hockey League. We know how powerful Timmins is. We've seen it all year, but now they have no Brent Romantic, but they still have a great lineup to fill up those spots. And Sudbury, we've seen how strong they've been all year. I mean, what a season Mason Walker and Ada McCartney are having. Just two diamonds in the rough for Sudbury. So I think this game is going to be probably the game of the year in a lot of people's eyes. I expect this to be a really tight contest, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So there you go. 705 puck drop at the Countryside Sports Complex in Sudbury. Get out there if you can or watch the action live on Flow Hockey. Can't wait. Okay, the three stars have been announced for last week. Brought to you, of course, by BrokerLink Home Auto Business Insurance. BrokerLink, life is confusing. Your insurance shouldn't be. And they are. Callum McCauley, forward from the Sioux Thunderbirds. Alex Pavarozniak of the Sioux Eagles. And in goal, Dryden Riley from the Timmins Rock. Let's start with Callum McCauley from the Sioux. Monster week, six point. points he had, three goals, three assists, in. including this absolute beauty McCauley against the in. French McCauley River Rapids. Uh, Alex Pavarozniak of the Sioux Eagles, also six points last week, one goal and five assists. And uh, that performance included four points against Kirkland Lake on Sunday. And finally, in goal, Dryden Riley of the the Timmins Rock, so good this season. Uh, just turned 17 on October 11th. Uh, recorded a 27 save shutout against Iroquois Falls on the weekend. He's five and two this year with a 1.87 goals against average. Okay, it's time for the plays of the week now. The best the awards. So much good stuff to choose from. Let's start off with a few of the nominees from week five. Down the neutral zone, here comes the Cubs. Finds Signoretti, Lucas Signoretti scores! Caulfield has it now, Frederick skates in with him. Lucas moves in, the captain for the hat trick. Barnell scores! Lucas Caulfield toss the hat, that's three! Here comes the Weavers now, Berman with possession, another shot in and he scores! It's the hat trick, Jonah McKindu! And that can't be kept in. An opportunity here for McCauley. McCauley coming in. McCauley comes in and he scores! The pressure tries to clear, but it ends up in the hands of Cooper Fredericks, who makes a move and a shot, a snipe! Far enough, Justin Bishore, who already has a goal under his belt, and he scores his second of the night! Justin Bishore! And Donovan Bayo ahead to Tyler Patterson. Open ice and over the line. Patterson in and he scores! An opportunity here for the Thunderbirds on the breakaway. It's Wardell. Wardell coming in, they score! Assiniway across for Chitteroni. Chitteroni driving in on the backhand, he scores! 
Okay, the top members bounce. Can we call these the Beavers bounce? Two in a row they had against Elliott Lake. Here's McKindu, the goal scorer, and puck loose. McKindu gets a shot up and he scores! On his own bounce, Jonah McKindu. And on the race, here's Kruderink. Kruderink. Oh, and it somehow it bounces in and the Beavers tie it up. It's Jack Cruderay. Your top hit, Timmons forward Travis Pone lays the smackdown on Braden Hinman. Board. And Poole takes an awkward spill into the boards there. And a big hit as Pone dumps his man. Big collision there. Top save, weekly award winner Dryden Riley comes up big against Iroquois Falls. Picked off here, Jarvis going towards the net. Jack Jarvis, big save, second chance. Off the side of the net and a big save there by Riley. And your top goal, the Vikings' Ivan Kedrov threads the needle for the game winner against the Gold Miners. Three Gold Miners there to dig it loose, but they can't. Vikings still with a sharp angle, so that's a goal! Kedrov! with absolutely no angle to shoot at, gets it up over the shoulder of Euro Morel into the opposite corner. Vikings regain their lead with only a minute 36 to go in the game. And just as a reminder, to stay up to date with everything all season long that's going on in the NOJHL, you can check out the league's official social media outlets. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Off to the rink now. Or puck drop. Enjoy the game.